This is an overview of how to build a performance measurement hierarchy based on an organization strategy. In this example, we'll be using an organization called GTI. GTI has a number of departments beneath it, eight of them. And these departments all have within them performance areas. So if I take a look at, for example, Global Data Center, they have things like Service Desk, Mainframe, and so forth. And each of those has a series of processes through which it delivers value. So storage and mid-range host, for example, has things like incident management, cost control, compliance, and so forth. So this structure is how we cascade strategy down. So GTI's overall strategy gets delivered through a number of departments, such as global cent data center operations, global data center operations gets delivered through a number of areas, one of which is storage and mid-frame range host, and that has a number of core processes. So we should be able to understand the cause and effect linkage between each of these entities. So if we take a look at storage and mid-range host, we should be able to list the organization's strategic objectives down the left and core processes across the top and assess the impact that each process has in supporting each strategic objective. And obviously, if it has a higher impact on a higher weighted objective, that measurement area becomes more important. In this way, we can profile the specific measurement areas we have across the various processes so that we can measure within the process our first tier, second tier, and third tier measures. We can also add up these scores by process to discover which processes in total are more strategically important based on the current strategy. Obviously, if our strategic priorities change, as they do over time, the important processes and measurement nodes will shift as well. Once we've identified each area's performance matrix, or what we call an ontology, we can do that for the other areas. Now, if I'm running global data center operations, I know what to look at in each of my team members to make sure that they're conforming to the overall performance. And if I own a process, I understand how my process contributes to overall strategy. What this means now is if you want to begin measuring the global data center, we can either start at the top and cascade down or analyze these findings and build it back up. Regardless, we can do the same ontology at the data center level strategic objectives. Now it's not core processes, but of course, core departments, and I understand where we need to measure each department and which departments are more strategically important based on the current strategy. In fact, if I wanted to take a look at a department, I can understand the measurement nodes and drill into that. So if we wanted to see how we're performing, we can build a dashboard that shows us the overall score, the trend, and the specific metrics which aggregate up to give us this performance. Then, of course, we can build that back up to the overall GTI level. So how can we see GTI's performance by looking at each of these departments and how it's performing strategically across each of those strategic objectives? So in this way, we've quickly taken the strategy and cascaded it down to the individual process so that we can measure individuals, teams, areas, departments, and the overall organization towards strategic success.